When we think of the greatest steals in NBA history, which names come to mind? Marc Gasol, Manu Ginobili, and Draymond Green might pop up instantly. And then, as we dive deeper into the ranks of legendary steals, we encounter even more iconic figures. For those familiar with basketball history, Willis Reed stands out. A second round pick back in 1964 who became an MVP, a two-time finals MVP, and the first man to bring an NBA championship to New York City. Three, two, one, we have a new NBA champion. Ultimately, however, all roads lead to Rome, bringing us to Nikola Jokic, a three-time MVP and finals MVP widely known as the Joker. In the 2024 NBA draft, however, we're about to witness something truly unprecedented. Bronny James, the son of the legendary LeBron James, who has practically grown up within the NBA, is finally making his way toward joining the most prestigious basketball league in the world. And let me tell you guys something, this will be the greatest draft steal in NBA history. Before we dive into the implications of Bronny James in the 2024 NBA Draft, let's clarify the facts. Although he's been listed at 6 foot 4 inches by his college team USC, an official measurement without shoes revealed that Bronny James is actually just 6 feet 1 and a half inches tall. This sort of height discrepancy isn't unusual in the NBA. For instance, Donovan Mitchell was initially thought to be 6'3", but was later confirmed to be only 6'1". Continuing on, let's look at how Bronny performed at the NBA Draft Combine, where they assess the potential of draft picks. Out of all 79 participants, Bronny achieved the fourth highest vertical leap with an impressive 40 and a half inches. Then, when it came to shooting, he excelled, securing the second best results among all participants by hitting 19 out of 25 from three-point range, including an incredible streak of 12 straight three-pointers. Despite this impressive showing, however, mostly because of his size, the consensus is that Bronny's not likely going to be a first-round draft pick. I mean, some NBA insiders, like Adrian Wojnarowski, have even joked that he'll pack G League arenas. <laughs> Now, here's where things get really interesting. As we all know, drafting Bronny James means you're not just getting Bronny. You're also inheriting his legendary father, LeBron James. Look, LeBron! L-B-J! Look out! Even at 39, with his 40th birthday around the corner, LeBron is still a force to be reckoned with and is still capable of putting up incredible numbers. I mean, just check out his stats. In 2024, he averaged 26 points, 7 rebounds, and 8 assists per game, while shooting 54% from the field and 41% from three-point range. These stats are nearly identical to the numbers he posted when he won his last MVP award back in 2013. If that ain't the definition of crazy, I don't know what is. Then, in the playoffs, he shifted into another gear, averaging 28 points while shooting even more efficiently than when he won back-to-back -back finals MVPs in 2012 and 2013. He's the reigning in-season tournament MVP, and even though he may not be the athletic powerhouse he once was, he's still LeBron James. E oh my gosh! E oh! E now, for the last couple of years, LeBron James has been vocal about his dream of playing alongside his son, and it just so happens that LeBron has a player option for 2025, and he's expected to opt out of it. As of today, the Lakers have stated they're willing to pay whatever LeBron wants, but the truth is, he's already a billionaire. He earns more off the court than on it, and he'll likely want to end his career in the best way possible, by winning a championship while playing alongside Bronny. These are the facts so far. Now let's turn our attention to the lottery. Atlanta, Washington, and Houston hold the top three picks, which they'll likely use to strengthen their rebuilding efforts. I mean, these teams are so far away from being contenders that even acquiring LeBron wouldn't make a significant impact. As for the Los Angeles Lakers, they won't see any action in the draft until the 55th pick. Before that, however, there are a few teams that might be just one LeBron James away from capturing a championship. 
and these are the teams that could make things interesting. Take, for instance, the Miami Heat. They've made it to the finals twice in the last four years, and while they might not possess a roster full of superstars, they possess a well-balanced team. Adding LeBron James could be the key ingredient they need to finally get over the hump. Moreover, Miami isn't just any city for LeBron. It's his former stomping grounds, making the Heat an ideal spot potentially for him and Bronny. Heat culture, renowned for its dedication to hard work, could be exactly what Bronny needs, especially considering how well it served other overlooked prospects. Take, for example, Gabe Vincent, Caleb Martin, and Max Struess, three undrafted players who played pivotal roles in the Heat's impressive 2023 Finals run. The Philadelphia 76ers are another team that could draft Bronny as a strategy to lure LeBron. With talents like the 2023 MVP Joel Embiid, Tyrese Maxey, Kelly Oubre, and Buddy Heald, the 76ers also look like they're just one LeBron James away from being genuine title contenders. These two teams are also in the East, where the playoff path is less challenging, allowing LeBron to preserve his body throughout the regular season. Oh, LeBron. James. LeBron got hurt on that play after the block. Yeah, I think he fell into a camera. Man. The list of teams also includes such teams as Phoenix, Sacramento, Milwaukee, New York, Minnesota, Denver, Boston, and even Golden State. All these teams are in the thick of a title hunt and have a chance at drafting Bronny as a strategic move to attract LeBron James. The situation is truly the first of its kind. I mean, it's unprecedented in NBA history for one of the greatest players of all time to potentially be available for a one-year stint at such a bargain price. However, we gotta remember that just because a team wants to acquire LeBron by drafting Bronny, it doesn't mean they can do so without LeBron's approval. For instance, back in 1999, the Vancouver Grizzlies selected Steve Francis with their second overall pick. However, Francis refused to play for the Canadian team, creating such a huge uproar that it etched its own chapter in the NBA history books. In a similar vein, before his draft, Tyrese Halliburton made it clear to both the Cavaliers and the Hawks that he did not wish to join their organizations. And on that same note, I'm sure there are some teams that LeBron and Bronny would absolutely refuse to go to. For example, Milwaukee might seem a bit dull, Minnesota's frequent snow might be a deterrent, and Denver, having just beaten the Lakers, is likely not a destination LeBron would prefer. Nothing is set in stone yet, but here's what I think will ultimately happen. The NBA draft isn't until late June, and even at the draft, I don't believe Bronny will be picked straight away. Instead, LeBron is likely to orchestrate things behind the scenes, for very good reasons. We all know LeBron would love nothing more than to play with Bronny while aiming for another championship. For his narrative and his legacy, it doesn't get much better than that. Just imagine all the marketing stories that could emerge from such a scenario. The documentary that could be made about their joint journey might even outshine his performance in Space Jam 2. <laughs> what LeBron will likely do instead is wait on two key factors. Firstly, he's going to watch how the dominoes fall. For example, Phoenix still lacks a solid big man and depth. Unless those gaps are filled, LeBron is definitely not going to consider them. Similarly, the 76ers currently have only Embiid and Reed signed under their 2025 roster. Until they flesh out their lineup more completely, LeBron won't be interested in joining. Then there's the Warriors. Until they sort out Klay Thompson's contract situation and their center position, LeBron might be hesitant to make a move. As you can see, much work remains for many teams before LeBron can make the best decision possible, and this is the first reason he'll likely advise Bronny to go undrafted. I mean, let's face it, the last thing LeBron would want is to join an incomplete team and endure loss after loss alongside his son, risking humiliation and potentially tarnishing his legacy. <laughs> the second reason LeBron will likely advise Bronny to go undrafted ties into the 2024 Paris Olympics. Talent is crucial, but team chemistry is just as important. Participating in the Olympics gives LeBron a unique opportunity to network and strategize with top-tier talent. He could gauge potential partnerships and see if aligning with another player or team makes sense. For instance, he might develop a stronger bond with Jason Tatum or Anthony Edwards could sway him towards Minnesota. Alternatively, the allure of Steph Curry's shooting might make Golden State seem like the best choice. With so many variables still in play and no pressing financial need, I see the James family taking their sweet time this summer to carefully consider and make the best strategic move possible. After all, they only get one shot at how to close such an important chapter for their family history. 
Either way, the summer of 2024 is set to be monumental, where the chips will fall and potentially the greatest draft steal in NBA history will occur. Switching gears, Nikola Jokic, also known as the Joker, is dominating the playoffs once again. Have you ever wondered, though, how he got that nickname? Well, I've dug deep into the story, and I have the answer in this video here. So, if you're curious, do yourself a favor and click right here to find out more. 